Hey, good morning, TOGs. Two old guys, two OGs. Tugs. Tugs, right? T two old guys. Yeah, Tugs. Hey, Tugs, what's up? <laughs> we on here. Anyway, I, my usual thing, uh, the last couple of guys were ranting, and um, I was upset about stupidness. I, I guess, you know, like I'm taking cold medication, and um, I think I think that's affecting my mentality, man, or something, because uh, I think it affects you. Or maybe this just this hay fever is just like the allergies are killing me, man. I understand, man. It's just like it's lingering. It's the worst fall that I've ever experienced, you know? Um, anyway, just um, I want to say hello, and uh, I guess we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I play that intro. I always do that. I like to play those intros that make me feel good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the last video. Uh, I think I'm going to put uh, some music in my videos every once in a while. Me and my wife, or, you know, whatever. whatever. Whatever the occasion, whatever the occasion is or arises or whatever. You know. Anyway, it's a rainy day today. Monday morning, Monday liquid Monday morning. Maybe I'll play that. You know, my brother's song, Liquid Monday Morning. It's weird though. It's, uh, if you're into like that, uh, like jazz type thing, it, it, it's weird. It's a good song, but you know, in fact, you know, listen to it. <laughs> Another day of bullshit, bullshit. Everyone you meet there loves you for who you really are. And there are no laws against walking the streets naked while drinking Puerto Rican rum, Puerto Rican rum. You become a new god in Spanish Harlem where Latin jazz music is the law and weapons of mass destruction are dismantled whenever you do the mambo, whenever you do the mambo. Your veins are filled with a drug so powerful that you do the cha-cha 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for the rest of eternity. 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 You become a new Latino concept with the ability to think a three-dimensional thought. And you create a new Latino universe that can be seen by every eye. Thank you. 
word I speak truly is understood for I made me feel so good But every word I speak truly is understood for Classified on a liquid Monday morning in Hell's Kitchen. Would you like to be jazzified on a liquid Monday morning in Hell's Kitchen? You're taken to an island where being a Puerto Rican is a proud experience and not a shameful one. Shameful. Where all your secret wishes are poured out in la leche de coco. And arroz con la bichuela helps you through another day of bullshit, bullshit. Everyone that lives there knows your name and loves you for who you really are. There are no laws against walking the beach naked while drinking a piña colada. Piña colada. You become a powerful Taino god in your village where Latin jazz music is the law. And the voodoo that once possessed you is made powerless whenever you do the mambo. You do the mambo. Your veins are filled with a potion so powerful you do the phone by 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of eternity. Eternity, eternity. You become a new Latino concept with the ability to do anything you set your mind to. And you create a new Latin jazz that can be heard by every ear. Hospital. I think it was 37, 38th Street, the West Side. You know, um, Hell's Kitchen. I was born there, actually born there. I wasn't born there. I was born in the hospital. We lived in Hell's Kitchen for a while. I don't know. I was a baby. Six months, maybe. Maximum. And then we moved over here to the Story Housing. And finally, my brother, my father, um, at the age of 13, I was, I think I was 13, you know, he bought a house. And uh, that's where I grew up, in a house all my life. And uh, that's that. And for you people wondering, yeah, I got, Joe's my brother and I got two sisters. I have one in common. Um, they live in Florida. Good sisters, good the good sisters. You know what I'm saying? I got a good brother, but the good sisters. And that's it. I just, you know, I thought I'd just talk about me, if in case you people are like wondering, you know. I mean, I was a musician. I grew up in music. I had a band, you know, a couple of bands. So, you know, I wrote stuff with my brother. We sang together. Latin band, I had a, a rock and roll band, and uh, 
music producer. I've done a few things, you know. I tried out acting when I was younger. I looked like, I don't know if you guys ever, ever remember Freddie Prince. Um, I had long hair, dark, you know, I kind of resembled him a bit. He was an actor. Shot himself in the head. Oh, why? We don't know. I guess uh, pills, depression, whatever. Just how it usually ends. And I tried out for that, but I didn't get it. They gave it to a Jewish guy who knew how to speak. Didn't speak any Spanish at all. Uh, Freddie Prince was Hungarian. Half Hungarian, half Rican. And, uh, yeah, they gave it to this Jewish kid. I guess he had more experience than I did. Uh, he looked nothing like him, though. Anyway, uh, anyway I was in Bronx Tales. You remember Bronx Tales with uh, Robert De Niro? Talking to me. Robert De Niro, nice man, nice man. Uh, yeah, and I think that was my extent of uh, acting. Then uh, yeah, you know, I took acting classes in school. I went to college. Liberal arts, you know what I'm saying? Just too much, you know. And you know, so I was married a few times. Got three kids. Oh, grown. I got. I'm a great grandfather right now. Got ten grandchildren. All my kids are grown and married. Have kids. And uh, you see me with Stella. That's what I'm with. This is my last wife. It was. Uh, she's my sixth wife. In case you're asking, you're wondering. Yeah, I've been around the mill. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> Hey, you see that? You see that video with Angry Grandpa when he <laughs> he went to Pickle Boy's house? And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Angry Grandpa and and Pickle Boy. Jeez, uh, you know he went to the house, and, and this man loses his mind. Uh, you know all the time. Every time his son his son just reams, man. I I don't know. He starts him off. The man loses his mind. He, he talks he talks tongues. He gets to the point where he starts to talk tongues, you know. <laughs> he can't even, he can't even understand what he's saying. He's talking tongues. Uh, uh, he totally destroyed this kid's Christmas tree in his own house, man. Angry Grandpa destroys his, his own house. You know what I'm saying? He, that's what he does, you know, for a living. I don't know why. He's just like he loses his mind, man. But he went to his son's house and he destroyed the Christmas tree just because he wanted to cook a turkey and they said no, that somebody else was cooking it. He like freaked out. It's a good video. He makes me laugh. I don't know if they set this up, you know what I'm saying, or um, uh, or, he, or he's really doing this, but he's like a nut job, man. You know, he's a real fucking nut job. But I enjoy that. I enjoy watching that, and Roman Atwood, and, and uh, Dennis Rohde, Dennis, congratulations Dennis, you just had a baby, um, who else, Nikki and John, they just had a baby, congratulations, uh, let me see, uh, uh, DLV, uh, Danny Duncan, and, Lee, uh, and Lindsay Bell, uh, love you guys, I'm just making shout outs, uh, prank versus prank, or girlfriend versus boyfriend, uh, Gina and, and, and uh, Jesse, love you guys. Ed Bass, another one you gotta see. These guys are like like uh, one in a million. I mean, I, I've become so familiar with them. They're like family already, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ed Bass, uh, let me see who else. Uh, uh, oh, Gilroy. Uh, he, um, Chase Gilroy, his wife is having a baby. Congratulations to you. Tom, H uh, Tom Mabe. He's my boy. I, you know what? Uh, he's not on the internet. Uh, he's not on the uh, YouTube that much anymore because uh, he's very busy. He's very busy with this country nation thing, and he's uh, doing some some stuff. And I hope he's getting well paid. <laughs> he puts out there. He does a lot of stuff, man. He's a good guy. You know, um, subscribe to all these guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all this bunny. You know. Um, uh, what, uh, does this thing really work? She's funny, man. She, uh, bunny, she's um, uh, a, a graveyard girl. That's her. That's graveyard girl. 
Uh, she's always giving the alligator its wings. I, I enjoy these videos, man, because they're just, like, super cool. Uh, I'm also into, uh, like, um, giant timber, uh, um, big, Bigfoot, uh, Bigfoot hunting Chris. He's my boy. I gotta give him a shout out. Uh, giant timber, well, I'm gonna call him Timberlake. Uh, big, Bigfoot, giant Bigfoot Timberland, Timber, whatever. Giant Bigfoot, um, uh, Timber something or other. Uh, with, uh, got his name. And there's Barbara Shoup. She does Bigfoot stuff too. You know, uh, you gotta give her a shout out. I mean, and oh, uh, and Robert Dawson, Dobson, Dotson. He's another one you gotta watch. Um, these people, they, they go out there and they, they put out their lives there to find Bigfoot. You know, I believe in Bigfoot. I don't know about you. You know, there's, there's no way you're gonna convince me there's not a Bigfoot. Just because we don't see him, you know, doesn't mean he's not there. I mean, we don't see air in this there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bears, uh, you know, you don't, you see bears, but you never find the bones or anything. Same thing with these guys. They're elusive, you know what I'm saying? And they don't come from flying saucers. I hate when people say they come from flying saucers because they don't come from flying saucers. They're just, they're here. I don't, I don't know what they are. They're maybe half monkey, half man. Or maybe it's just like a generation, um, a genetic thing. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I don't know, you know. Um, just watching people walk in the rain, they're funny. I don't know, you know, but uh, I believe in it. I really believe in it. I don't believe in uh, certain things like ghosts. I don't know, maybe they're true, I don't know. Uh, I watched that um, uh, Adventures with uh, these crazy guys and, uh, you know, all these ghost shows. Um, taps and all that. Uh, I'm into all that stuff, man. You know, I, I really got into it like really heavy. I bought equipment and stuff that I never used it. I still got it there. I would like to be a ghost hunter. I'd like to go out and and hunt for Bigfoot, but uh, I don't know. Uh, my knee. I don't know if I could really. I'm up to that. I like to. I can do ghost hunting. You know. And uh, Tom May promised me that he would come visit me when he came to New York. We could vlog together. Also, Chris from Bigfoot Hunting is coming to New York. He's going to vlog with me. And any of you guys out there that um, have a YouTube channel and you're in New York and you want to vlog with me, hey, come vlog with me. And there's another thing I'm, I'm, I'm requesting. If you're a songwriter, you know, or you got music that you want to promote, uh, send me the CD or, you know, uh, to uh, to the two old guys at gmail.com. That's the two old guys, gmail.com. Uh, you can find, I'll put the description below, you know, the, uh, so you can find me. Uh, send me your music and I'll, and I'll uh, feature it in one of my uh, videos. I'd like to do that, you know, I'm, you know, especially if you're a songwriter, singer. But you have to have a good demo. I don't know how to put garbage on it. And if it's, uh, you know, explicit rap, forget about it. It has to be, it has to be, you know, commercial rap. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, there's a difference. Um, so, but if you're a singer, R&B, even jazz, you know, anything I can use to make little videos with on my, on my channel, YouTube channel, send it to me. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know? Um, what else? Um, just like hanging out, uh, I tell you it's Monday, it's 9 o'clock, I'm going to go inside, eat a little bit like how we do, and uh, I'll get back to you guys later, it's going to be more of a vlogging thing that I'm doing today, I mean actually vlogging, the things on top of my head, you know, I'm going to go watch Maury, and you know, Maury is um, cookie cutter, every single one does the same thing, you ever watch them, <laughs> they all do the same thing, you know. In the rain. He goes a jogger. How do you jog in the rain? Man? Look at this. Can you see? Him? Uh, I missed it. Anyway, it's no big deal. So I'm gonna go to the house. I got a good parking. I'd have to move today. I was gonna go to the store, but you know what? Forget about it. 
it's gonna rain too hard. I go, I go tomorrow, man. I go tomorrow. It's, uh, we got plenty of food. You know, we ordered last night. Oh, let me tell you what happened. I ordered some, some, um, some Mexican food from Chinese people. How that happens, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, they're in the Mexican. <laughs> These Chinese people are open up Mexican store. I have to tell you this. So the guy, you know, um, I make the order. I'm trying to get it online on Seamless. That Seamless sucks. E24 is better. Uh, Seamless sucks. It wouldn't take my order. wouldn't go through. I don't know what the hell they had a problem with. Anyway, uh, so I call them up, and I make the order. It comes out. It was supposed to be $25, you know, but I forgot that they that was the that was the uh, net total that wasn't the grant that wasn't the, the total uh, I forgot to add the tax. So the guy he calls me up. He don't know how to get to my house. I told him you know how to get here. It's simple. It's, it's like five blocks away. How do you not know how to get to to certain? You know. Anyway, I told him. He finally gets here. He calls me. He can't come inside the, the apartment building because. Um, he forgot the chain to his bike, his bicycle. So I had to go outside. Then that diminished his tip. Then I have to go back inside and get money. It was like a hectic day yesterday. It was a crazy day. I had to fill something out for the bank, man. Because they changed, they changed the uh, format, and you had to put code numbers in last night. That went wrong because you know what? The numbers didn't work. I did everything they told me. It didn't work. That's another hassle. You know, everything was, uh, really, everything went wrong for me yesterday. What sucky day. The only thing is that I rested. My wife rested. We put the prescriptions in today that we got from the doctor the other day. Anyway, I think I'm just ranting and ranting and ranting on and on. Just talking. This is going to be the longest walk in the whole world. I hope you guys don't get bored, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, so um, I'm going to go inside and eat something. Like I said, I always do. Because I'm hungry. 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 I'm hungry. Like my brother does. You live and you learn. Anyway, Joey's going to be here soon. We're going to vlog together soon. Um. And that's it. So, I think I'll go inside now and give you a rest. Okay, so I'm sorry for the short vlog. I'm at the store now, and, um, you know, my usual routine. I, it's cold out here, man. Today is, uh, what is that vlog? Monday? Today's Tuesday? I didn't, I didn't close it out yesterday. Sometimes it bees that way. <laughs> it bees that way. You know, hey. You know, you just it's a block, you know, just I do a weekly block, but that block. You know, I just do whatever the fuck I want. I don't close it out every day. I don't do a daily block. I just keep continue and continue. Anyway, so um, thank you for joining me, you know. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Uh, I talked to Joey last night. He's doing good. He's just getting some stuff together, you know, as far as uh, music-wise and stuff. He's got a project going on right now. It takes a lot of his time. But he says he'll, we'll be vlogging very soon for you people who miss him. And um, uh, what else? I don't know. The holidays are coming up. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? You want to come over? Let me know. Comment in the box. I'm in New York City. We're going to be going over to uh, my brother-in-law's house. He has a mansion. <laughs> what a come. I don't know if he'd let me bring you people, but hey, suggest you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, remember, I'm thinking of you guys for Christmas. It's a thought that counts. And uh, I'll say good night. Eh, not good night, but hey, have a good day. That's the difference, right? Instead of saying good night. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like my videos, you know, and keep them coming, keep coming, keep coming. Get heavy with that like, 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 like. I need all the support I can get. Anyway, 
I love you guys. I guess I'll talk to you uh, another day. I don't know, tomorrow, next day, whatever. Like I said. All right, so all I got to say is ciao for now. When I'm playing, passing by, don't even try I got my mind set on beautiful things So fine girl with the hand, make for beautiful ranks So whip your dad with me, baby girl, come and clam with me Hop up in the Jeep and smoke a pad with me Every time I look inside a rise, I'm a sexual vibe To make a true play, you wanna hide And deep inside, I'm like, damn, baby I better got you understand, maybe All I wanna do is be a man, baby And not a day goes past